Well, we're very encouraged by the by the feedback that we've what we got from the seven schools in Scotland, the performance schools, with uh, each of them 20 elite football players um, have kicked off in, in August, and um, they train every day um, under the guidance of uh, seven uh, very good uh, football coaches, football teachers actually, and uh, they're working on an ind individual program. We monitor that program very tight with a performance information system where, they, where we gather all kinds of information. And uh, so far it's been a huge encouragement for us to continue that we're on the right path. This is a good opportunity to make myself better at football. I was training at Murray Park for, I think, three nights a week and four, week, uh, four nights every second week. It's just the same as that, but with football every day for in school. Well, sometimes we just need to fill in something in the internet, asking us questions about like what we've done for training the night before and what we have for breakfast and that. So they can like revolve the session around you. I think the biggest difference has been the attitude of the players. I think they've gradually, as they've came along, started to focus quicker in the training session. I think they understand, they're starting to understand why we train. You know, we really need to train properly. And if we do that, that will take care of the game. Um, and I think that's been the biggest one. Just their whole attitude to training. And I think the, the boys really realise now just how big the challenge is. The curriculum's been is challenging. You know, there's no magic formula out there for football. Otherwise, you know, everyone would know it. I think for us, but we've looked at the game in general. And we've just tried to break that down into small, small parts. And, you know, we work in certain themes that we think is relevant. Not just a technique on the ball, it's a technique under pressure. I think technically why Scottish players are good, but we need to be able to translate that into the game and translate it into when someone's putting you under real pressure. So they're marking you really tight and you've still got to do the things that, that you've been taught. And it's important now for us that these boys believe that and trust their own ability. I think it gives an exciting buzz around the school, which I think will only increase over the next few years. And I think if we are looking at you know education and the whole interdisciplinary nature of it, then there's lots of connectivity associated with the performing school that we can bring into other aspects of school life. So I think at the moment I only see positives. In it. I think that teachers tend to look at the practical aspects of it and therefore there is an extra challenge for teachers um, because there are youngsters who sometimes will miss their classes um, and therefore they, they sometimes have to make the extra effort to engage youngsters and make sure they keep up to speed with their work. But the vast majority of young people, the vast majority of the time, really show their commitment to their studies, so it's not been a major issue. I'm hugely impressed. I mean, you know, I, I'd only heard the buzzwords about the performing schools, but coming here, speaking to the children, speaking to the coaches, you see the value of it. You know, may, may not see the value of it next year, year after that, uh, but looking towards Scotland's future, it's incredibly positive. In a day and age when there's so much negativity about Scottish football on a national level and club level, I'm very pleased to be here and I think we're seeing the, the future stars of uh, Scotland squad in, in Hollywood secondary right here. A nation's confidence is important, uh, you know, if we're doing well in sport, uh, even from a personal point of view, if you're doing well physically, actively, you're doing well probably in your work, in your studies, that's this holistic approach, I think that works for our nation as well. I think we rely so much on our sports people to do well. We know ourselves when this success with Andy Murray, the whole nation gets buoyed up. And so, you know, everybody wants to see our national squad get into one of these, you know, get into the, one of these big tournaments. Uh, these kids are, uh, who are performing today, sorry, I think part of their, their training today, they've never seen Scotland compete at the highest level, and they're desperate for it. So, yeah, the nation, the nation, of course, relies on it. That's a huge amount of pressure. Uh, but what I am pleased to say is that the way the performance school works, uh, that pressure is managed in, 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 a, in a great way. Well, the 2020 vision uh, prepares us actually for a better, a better situation in 2020. Uh, we do a lot of things. Uh, we have um, extended the national youth teams, so we don't have one national youth team under 16, but we have also a development squad. We have a future squad where we start identifying the players much younger. We are working more intense. We have a better staff. We have uh, extended the staff for the performance for the national youth teams. We have implemented an under 20 uh, league in Scotland, so I think it's important for the lay developers, but also to to bridge the gap between the, 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 the young players and the first team. We're investing massively in the Club Academy Scotland. It's a programme for all the pro youth academies. So we contribute towards the cost of those academies, going from six stars to one star. And the better your academy is, the more money you get from the Scottish FA. So uh, basically, uh, those are the areas that we are focusing on. And it, is, it, it has only one goal, to make sure that Scotland get back 
to the Euro Finals or the World Cup Finals as soon as possible.